Good afternoon, guys. Uh, got another MLAB here, and uh, this one's a little bit different. It's pretty long, but there's a reason behind that. There's some backstory to this game and why I'm playing kind of like a douchebag. Uh, me and Dehi Denoglo, we're playing just us two, and we joined into this lobby. And the other team had a full party. I don't know if they do in this game. I think it's at least five people. And they were beaten, like, I mean, pretty much like always when you join a game in progress. Um, you're you're getting stomped usually. I mean, I was trying to rank up my KSG12 to level 31. I've got it to level 30 now, I think. Um, so you know, I was running around with that piece of shit. Meanwhile, getting type 95 by kids in corners with, with attack insertions. And uh, so in the pregame lobby before this match, I was like, Dehi, we have to pound the shit out of these kids because I mean, me and Dehi really don't try all that often. Well, we do, but you know, just kind of screw around. Like all yesterday, I was using the KSG12. Dehi pretty much always. And uses shotguns or knives people or some some funny stuff like that. So, I mean, he's actually a really strong player. And, you know, I'd like to think I am too. And so we, we turn on the try-hard mode, and uh, that's why you see me here. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not camping. I guess I am a little bit, but, I mean, it's not like I'm camping for an MOAB, you know? It's not like I'm going out there like, hey, guys, I'm going to get an MOAB, so I'm going to camp. No, I'm actually just I'm here because this is a good place to defend the sea flag, and I wanted to beat these kids really badly because... They were talking all kinds of shit in the pregame lobby. Like I was like, man, I just joined in halfway through, and they're like, oh, you suck. You can't even carry your shitty teammates. I'm like, dude, you're in a full party. But um, beyond that, I mean, I had I was filled with rage, and needless to say, when I got the uh, MOAB on them, I think two of them dashboarded instantly, and uh, the, the third guy stayed in, and then a the fourth guy just left the game. Um, the third guy actually stayed in for a few games afterwards, so you know that was pretty impressive of him. Kind of reminds me of myself and that. You know, I know a lot of people that I play with, uh, they'll run into lobbies like this where the other team is actually good. Uh, and these guys are good, don't get me wrong. I think one of them has a 3.5 KD. Uh, it was Fierce Beavers. Um, another dude had like, uh, the other two guys had like 2.8 KDs. I think one had like a 2.2. So they're not, they're very good players by any means. I mean, I don't think I've seen a single MOAB on YouTube against this strong of players, to be honest. Um... But yeah, no, they were they were talking shit, and <laughs> needless to say, when I got the MOAB, uh, I was pretty happy. <laughs> you can only imagine the rage induced. But uh, yeah, no, I, was, I wasn't going for it at all. I was just playing smart. Um, you see me capping the flag here. I just wanted to win, basically. So we just held down the C and B flag pretty much uh, the whole game. Spawn trapped them in A. I was watching C for the most part, and Dehi watching B. And uh, I mean, it's not exactly the most skillful thing in the world, but um, you know. The kids we were playing against just just made it completely worthwhile. Um, I don't know. What what do you guys like? Do you like playing these competitive, you know, quick paced games? Because that's one thing that I missed in Black Ops. You know, once someone got a Blackbird, the game was over. Any good player on the other team would rage quit or switch to a Ghost class, um, and it just got frustrating. It's one thing that I really miss because in Modern Warfare 2, in this game, you get in these really really competitive games. You know, where the other team may have like four or five people. And um, it just turns into a shit show. It's a lot, of, a lot of fun, really competitive, and I just completely missed that in Black Ops. I think a big reason for that, too, is um, the combat record in Black Ops made it so easy to view other people's kill-to-death ratios that it's half the time when another team, you know, went in and saw, like, for example, me with a 4KD or whoever I was playing with usually had a pretty high kill-to-death ratio. Um, they, they'd back out. There'd be no competition. I mean, that game was just boring. It was whoever got the Blackbird first. This, this kind of stuff is what makes me enjoy Mono for 3. You know, playing, I mean, playing a full party with just me and Dehi and being able to stomp them just from gun skill. Um, it's, it's fun, I guess. I mean, I guess you can't really call it gun skill. I'm just kind of playing like a defensive douchebag the whole time. But uh, when I got the MOAB on them, let, let, let's just say there was not any more shit talking in the, in the pregame lobby after this. Not to mention that three of the three of the four or five had left already. Uh, he's pretty funny. You'll see them all dashboard at the end. But uh, have you guys seen any kill, um, MOABs against this big of tryhards before? Um, I don't think I have. It's the only reason I'm posting. It's pretty long. Got the M4 with red dots. Um, I'm not a very big fan of the iron sights. Like they're they're good in theory, but it's kind of like the FAD. I don't. I just don't like them. Uh, they they look good. They just they don't work for me. Uh, I just get the the feeling with the M4 is they seem to just bounce around a little too much. So anyway, we push up, take A here. So I know they're spawning in this little house straight ahead. Uh, when when they have B flag, they'll spawn on either side of the B flag over and over again. So if you have some teammates on one side, you're pretty much rest assured that uh, they're going to spawn on the other side, which they are right here. And uh, I get a nice little... I get, this is, I get really lucky here. I think I get like six kills really quickly with my Kimbo Scorpions. 
because uh, at this point I was like, fuck it, they're not going to win. I might as well just go for this MOAB, right? So I just rushed their spawn with the Kimbo Scorpions. Um, yeah, pick it up right here. And wait for it, wait for them all to start dashboard. I think that the two of them kill themselves right when the MOAB is about to go up, just so they deny me a kill. That's how douchebaggy these guys were. <sighs> like, look at this, he kills himself with his bouncing belly right when the MOAB goes off. Fucking dick. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> the number of kills that I got him getting to this point uh, makes me makes me happy, you know. I just love running into tryhards like this and uh, and just stomping all over them. Is is there any better feeling than uh, talking shit to someone in Modern Warfare Three or Call of Duty and then being being able to back it up, you know, stomping them the stomping them in the next game? I mean, this is just me and Dehi, but I remember we uh, I was playing in a full party. Like uh, I just wanted to keep this going so you can see them all s you know, disconnect due to server transmission, which equals dashboarding if you don't know or turning off your Xbox in the middle of the game so your stats don't count. But uh, I was playing in a full party of six people. We joined in progress, and the whole our whole team had rage quit because the other team was trying so hard. And the game after that, they were all shit talking, and uh, that was just that was just embarrassing. I think they all rage quit within like 30 seconds or something. But either way, hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna kill the video here. I just want to show you them dashboarding. But uh, but MOAB against tryhards. Peace.